Hey guys, Just for Sweets here again. How are ya? Today we are going to start getting into some of the holiday stuff. And it's not going to be an everyday thing, but you know, every now and then the holidays are coming and you want to make something different and fun. And so today what I'm doing is I am making macaroni and cheese and bacon appetizers. And they are going to be fried, so I have my cast iron skillet here filled with oil and it's heating up. Um, I have my leftover macaroni and cheese. I made homemade macaroni and cheese for um, the family the other night. And so this is what I have left over. And I'm going to go ahead and use that. And we have um, some strips of bacon. And then I'm going to show you a little twist with jalapeno. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you're going to want to get, these are just appetizers. So I would say just get a teaspoon or a tablespoon. And I'll actually use this plate to get this started. And you're going to want to just cut little, little circles out of your macaroni and cheese. Now, if you want to use store-bought macaroni and cheese, I suggest using like the Velveeta or one of those. And, um, you know, the, have the creamy cheese and then letting it cool so that it hardens up a little bit. We'll use our kitchen shears. And we're going to cut this bacon right in half. So we're going to take the bacon, we've got our little tablespoon of macaroni and cheese here, and we're going to just wrap this bacon. You want to make sure that the bacon can wrap around. So if you've got too much macaroni and cheese, put a little bit back. You just want to make sure that this will wrap around your mac and cheese. Just like that. So I want you to see that. I just wrapped it around the piece of macaroni and cheese. And your edges aren't going to seal, but just kind of seal those a little bit. So we'll do another one, like I said, about a teaspoon or so, tablespoon of macaroni and cheese. Your bacon is cut in half, so each strip is cut in half. You're going to take that, you're going to wrap it around your macaroni and cheese, and just kind of seal those edges a little bit. I'm going to do two more, and then our grease, our oil should be ready to go. So again, take one bacon strip, cut this in half. And these aren't going to take very long to cook because your mac and cheese is pre-cooked. Now, even though your bacon isn't, when bacon is getting put in hot grease, it's going to cook pretty quickly. So make a little ball out of it. Wrap your bacon around. And these are going to make great bite-sized appetizers for your friends, your family. Great to take, you know, to work with you. One little twist I want to show you is you can take a fresh jalapeno. And I'm just going to take a little corner of it. These are actually jalapenos that Linda from Linda's Pantry grew. And she was so kind and brought me some. She did not have to do that, but I thank her for it because I love them. Okay, so we're going to take a little, couple little chunks of the jalapeno, our tablespoon of macaroni and cheese. And that's the little twist that you can put on it. And I'm going to put a piece of jalapeno on each side of my macaroni and cheese bite here. So I have a piece on each side. And then we're just going to take that bacon and wrap it around. Oop. Our little jalapeno is sneaking out on us right there. Okay, so our jalapenos are inside there. So there's your little twist on your appetizer. If you want to make them spicy, put some chunks of jalapeno in there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get them started. That's nice and hot. Here it's sizzling. This has been heating up on medium high heat for about five minutes. So let those cook. You're going to want to make sure you have a plate with a paper towel. And it is going to pop because they can pop, so be careful. You want to turn down that heat just a tad once you get them in there. You're going to let them cook. Take your tongs and just check the other side. You want them to brown up and crisp up. And you know, you can pre-make these the night before and then the day of your party or your or your potluck or whatever you're using them for. Then you go ahead and you just plop them in there and they'll be done in just a few minutes. So that one's starting to brown. That's the first one we put in. So that's my little tester right there. And you don't want to char them. You just want them to get nice and crispy. Make sure when you put them in the grease, you're putting them uh, where you sealed the bacon, where you carried the bacon over. 
So the two ends of the bacon, you want to put that side down so it kind of seals together. Let those cook. Check them, flip them. See how brown they're getting? That one's not quite done. Whoops, I unwrapped a little sucker. <laughs> All right. Now, these are one of those things that you eat in moderation. This is not an everyday, an everyday thing to eat, that's for sure. But everything tastes better with bacon, don't you agree? I sure do. We've got little floaters that are running captive here. That's okay though, you could even take those out and throw them on the plate as little extra crunchies. Okay, let's flip this one over. This one kind of fell apart, but I think it's because I tried to uh, flip it too soon. So I'm going to hold it together with the tongs a little bit. See if I can get it to seal together. These would be great served with like a spicy ketchup. You could serve them with a barbecue sauce. I'm having issues with these two. Serve them with a barbecue sauce. Um, you could serve them with like a sweet chili sauce. That would be really good or just by themselves. So I would say probably about a minute and a half on each side, if not more, just to your desired crispiness. I'm trying to hold this one together because I didn't do a very good job on that. It's almost like a little fritter with macaroni and cheese. All right, let's check this. This one's done. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out because we're losing all the macaroni out of this one. This one stayed together perfectly. That's my best one right there. And it's okay. You can have little flaws here and there. It's probably just because I put too much macaroni and cheese and didn't wrap the bacon around enough, uh, tight enough. So I'll flip that. That's the first one we put in with the jalapeno. You can see that coming out. I'm going to get that other side cooked a little bit more. Here's our perfect little one. Here's our other one that decided to fall apart on us. Still very edible and still very delicious. Look at these little cooked macaronis too that you can serve. Like the little crunchies on the side. I always love the little crunchies when it comes to chicken wings, anything. I like the little extra pieces to dip into the sauces. Okay, so here, some of these out. We're draining them onto a paper towel and then you would get your serving platter. Obviously you'd have some more of these and then get a little dish. Let's use a little mason jar. Put that right there and you put your favorite little dipping sauce in. There we go. Put that one back together. You could even serve these with ranch if you prefer. So here they are, see how easy those were? So again, you take about a tablespoon of macaroni and cheese that's been pre-cooked and cooled, kind of roll it in a ball, take a half a piece of bacon and wrap it around, place it into the hot oil with the wrap side down, cook it for about a minute and a half on each side. And if you wanna throw a little twist in there, throw in some fresh jalapeno, or you could even use pickled jalapeno. Serve them on a platter with some ranch, some sweet chili sauce, some spicy ketchup or barbecue sauce, and you've got a wonderful appetizer for the holidays, for a baby shower, or whatever, you know, maybe if you just want a midday snack. So those are fun, they're easy, they're fast. Pre-make them the night before a party or event and cook them the next day and they go really quick. Take those little extra crunchies of macaroni and throw those around the plate. These are the ones that got free from us and dress that plate up with those, and I guarantee you people will be grabbing those too and eating them. Everybody likes things deep fried, right? Again, eat this stuff in moderation, not an everyday thing to eat. I hope you have a wonderful day, and until next time, God bless. Oh, and one more thing. Um, if you'd like to check out my Facebook page, right now um, I, I do have a Just for Sweets page, and I've been downloading videos on my personal page. But if you want to join the Just for Sweets page, I'll go ahead and I'll start downloading my videos on there. Invite your friends to look and just have, you know, fun with it. Um, and I think that's about it. So I hope you have a wonderful day. And until next time, God bless.